In this video, you will learn how to protect users of electrical materials. Proper protection of electrical circuits is essential for avoiding risks to users. Before any electrical intervention, please turn off the power for the network concerned. This operation is carried out in two steps, as we will explain. Step 1. Verify that the residual current device is functioning properly. The residual current device is a system that compares the incoming current and the outgoing current. If they vary, the system will find that there is a current leak inside the appliance and the residual current circuit breaker will be triggered, cutting off the current. This is called tripping the circuit breaker. This happens when an electrical appliance is defective due to a damaged cable. A current leak may extend across metallic parts. This is dangerous for the user as they could get a shock from current that goes through their body upon contact with these metal parts. A test of the protection system should be carried out frequently by the user by using the test button located on the main circuit breaker and the residual current circuit breaker at the beginning of the row. Over time, mechanical protection systems are subject to wear and tear and may no longer function properly. Step 2. Verify that the ground wire is functioning properly. The ground wire makes it possible to dump leakage current safely. Therefore, it is important to verify that all of the outlets have a ground stud. This ground stud is connected to the grounding strip or the terminal block of the electrical panel via a green and yellow wire. If this is not the case, and to learn more about the ground connection, please watch the video, Ground Connection, Part 2, How to Connect an Electrical Panel. The best means of prevention is to check regularly and before using any electrical material that the conductor wires are not exposed anywhere. You now know how to protect users of electrical materials.